Hi there, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family. I hope that I can inspire you in one way or another. If you are a regular, thank you so much for being my day one. It means the most to me to know that you are holding on, hanging on, and that I am inspiring you in a lot of ways. So share this channel with a friend, with an auntie, with an ex. You never know whom this channel is going to help. Today's session is going to be about CV. So I'm going to be sharing with you the CV that I used to apply for the English job in Hong Kong. And hopefully you guys will find it useful. So, you know, we have this CV here and I'm going to be sharing with you tips and just the stuff that I did, you know, to just make my CV stand out and, you know, to get that dream job that I never knew I wanted, but I got and now i am absolutely enjoying it so without wasting any much more of your time let's get right into it okay so i used a really modern cv the first thing i would say is when you are writing up a cv or for a job it has to be readable so you don't want to have a cv that is jumbled up that is scrambled or that is outdated you want to have a cv that when a person looks at it they see the main points that you are trying to show them or to tell them so they should be able to know exactly what you know they're looking for to see it the moment they look at your CV without having to like really squint their eyes you know look for a needle in a haystack so all that information should just hit them in the face the moment they look at your CV so for my CV or resume depending with which country you're from or whatever you call it um, I put my name at the top and then I put the position I was applying for so it was my name at the top and then it was native English teacher right below that and I also had a section with my address email and cell phone number or telephone number that is as personal as I got I didn't put my marital status I didn't put my age I didn't put my height I did not put my date of birth um, <laughs> I just put my address, email, email um, and my residential address, postal address, email and my phone number and that is all I did. And then after that I, I went on to add a section, introduction, some call it an introduction, some call it a profile and this was just introducing myself. So um, in my introduction I spoke about how um, I graduated from university the degrees that I had the certificates that I had and I also spoke about the little bit of experience I had teaching teaching in general or tutoring because that helps that goes a long way and um, yeah after that I just spoke about how um, I wrote how I would be a good fit for the company why they should employ me and just my strengths my good attributes and attitudes when it comes to just the workspace so for example I wrote um, you know um, my I need to switch off this thing here sorry about that so for example in my introduction or personal profile I wrote that um, some of my achievements included, you know, adapting to just different situations, um, being culturally diverse, having learned in an atmosphere that had a lot of cultures enabled me to adapt and also to just be able to relate to different people from different cultures because you are moving to a different country and relating to different cultures and different people is something that is very very important i also spoke about how during my university years we used to do a lot of assignments and teamwork and that also helped me build my strengths when it comes to working as a team and being you know um a good team member so you want to highlight all the strengths that you have and all the things that you've done that are you know um, similar to the uh, job to the job that you are applying for or to the things you're looking for in a candidate um, for that certain position and so after my personal profile I went on to introduce my educational background where I listed my certificates my degrees um, and any short courses that, that I had done for career development after that section I then went on to list my career summary 
and this is where you just list any experience that you have or the experience that you think is relevant when it comes to teaching but guys I will say any experience is relevant whether you were a promoter whether you were a brand ambassador whether you were a waitress or a waiter that is experience that counts waitress waiter people skills okay customer service understanding being patient you know um, and these are the things that are good when it comes to teaching in a different country you need to understand the student you need to care for the student you need to be able to um, diffuse any possible um, challenging situations and these are the things that you learn when you're working in customer service you know if you were a brand ambassador you know you would approach people sell products and that shows that you are a confident individual and when it comes to teaching you need all the confidence that you can get okay you need to dig deep for that confidence so any experience is good experience do not subtract anything thinking oh my gosh okay um this is not teaching experience so i'm not going to put it on there just slap it on your cv i mean come on what have you got to lose you want the job and your cv is that those are the few um seconds that you have to make an impression um to the recruiter so you have to make it count so i put on my career experience you know i've tutored i've worked as a brand ambassador um i have been a personal assistant I have worked as you know an administrator and I just put all of those things there they're not really related to teaching but I learned some skills that I'm able to use in my teaching journey within those past roles that I had so after I put on my career um, experience I went on to put my volunteering experience as well so if you volunteered you know it shows you know you are ready to help you are ready to exert yourself you're ready to volunteer your time or you know when when where you can you know you are a team member so you might have duties but you're ready to also help other team members with their duties so i feel like volunteering experience is definitely something that you want to put on there um so i put my volunteering experience which was when i was still studying for my degree we did a lot of volunteering experience working with children working in child care centers and even when i got to hong kong as well i was volunteering in a center working with um non-privileged special educational needs students so that is something that you really need to put there in your cv if you have volunteered i would say go for it you know if if you're lacking in work experience make up for it in um volunteering experience it goes a long way and it counts and after i put my volunteer experience i went on and i put on a section with my awards certifications and skills so these were just the general awards that i got at university or in high school so in high school i did have you know team tags and colors for sports and for clubs so guys when you are, when you are in high school or university do not underestimate the power of being part of a club or a team it goes a long way when you're finally job hunting those certificates and awards really help and also um I also got a full scholarship to study for university and that is something that I also put on there it's good it shines I'm flaunting it right I really want this job and to be able to get a full scholarship shows that I work hard and I have something to give you know I can share something and I understand the importance of teaching learning English and academics so I'm willing to exert myself to help my students achieve that same level of excellence um, and yeah I put in you know how I'm proficient with Microsoft um, functions office functions and that was my cv in a nutshell guys um just to go through it again with you name position title address phone number email address um introduction or personal profile this can be i think about one two three four five six seven ten lines just ten lines that's all you need ten lines or less you don't want to write a personal profile that's going to cover half of the first page of your cv you want your cv to be short and sweet and precise so introduction then education background career summary um volunteering experience award certificate awards certifications and skills and the last thing i put on there was references so then um i just put good references and references are very tricky so you really want to put some someone or you know that you know has your back that you know will definitely say good things about you 
um, <laughs> you did not want to sh um, shoot yourself in the foot with this one. So um, I would say put good references on your CV and tell the people that you've put on that you did put them as references. So when they get an email saying, hey, would like you to vouch for this person, they're not shocked. They're not like, I don't even remember this person. Who is this person? You know, so just make sure they know that they should be expecting some form of correspondence from, you know, the people or the company that you're looking forward to working for. Um, and I've had people asking questions about the company that recruited me, Chatteris Educational Foundation. Yes, um, they recruit from all over the world. They are quite a multicultural company. I've met Nigerians here. I've met people from um, Cyprus. I've met people from Zimbabwe, South Africa. Even the countries that Russia, the countries that are non-native English speaking, you know, they do recruit from those countries. So, yes, they do recruit people from those countries. And as long as you have a bachelor's degree and a good English speaking level, um, high proficiency, then you're good. In terms of what's the time spent for the graduates that they recruit, I'm not sure. I graduated in 2018 um, that was with my masters with my bachelor's I'd graduated two years before that so I feel seven years seven years and I think I feel like the cutoff time is seven years but you know what guys age is just a number if you feel that this is for you and you are active enough you are a people person then go for it you know um, guys it's all about taking chances if you have that chance if you feel you really want to do it no regrets go for it if it doesn't work out great but you gave it a try you know that's how i did it i had so many i'm telling you guys i had so many regrets i remember applying to china different agencies and they would always tell me no 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 you are from a non-native english speaking country we can't take you so many guys i think about six seven eight notes and then I finally found this company and I, I kept on applying and guess what I made it through so never stop don't give up keep trying if it's something that you really want to do and you feel it in your bones that this is it then do it um, and yeah um, so yeah that's stuff on the CV and also if you not sure what to do with your CV or you want me to take a look at it send it through to me um, and I'll put in my email in the description box and I'll take a look at it. I also offer CV writing services. So I will also put a link to that where you can buy packages. If you want a cover letter and civic and CV, um, written down for you, if you just want the templates as well, if you just want a cover letter, if you just want a CV, all of that is there. Um, you can buy a package and we will correspond via email and just get everything done and sorted. Recruiting is happening right now, so you do not want to miss this train if this is something that you really want to do. And yeah, guys, this is this is it. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And you know what we do before we actually go? Take a deep breath with me. I am a boss. I am a boss. I am a boss. <laughs> so you are a boss and don't you dare forget it. Until next time. Bye.